Woods. We're here working at Fort Tabor in uh, New Bedford, Massachusetts. It's a Civil War era, seven-sided fort that was constructed as part of the Northeastern Coastal Defense. This is a senior design project for engineering. It's a two semester long project. There's uh, four of us and then a faculty advisor. And we've been go coming here all semester, um, analyzing the fort and taking pictures and doing different calculations to figure out uh, what's, what's happening within the fort, why certain parts of the fort are failing, and trying to, in the end, figure out a way to fix those issues for the city. Due to its um, debilitated state, it's not been open to the public for a long period of time. And I think that there is consensus throughout the city that if we could open this to the public, make it safe for both residents and visitors to come inside, um, that would be great value to the community. We're basically doing a structural analysis report on the whole fort. A big challenge would be obviously the elements. So you see most of the t deterioration in the fort is going to be mostly from um, the drainage systems that are going through the walls. It causes the bricks then to fail or the mortar to recede and whatnot. So that's kind of like where we see all the damages are coming from. So that's what we want to focus on first is how to fix that and then hopefully that'll stop more damages from happening. We kind of went through the entire fort. We basically classified all the different forms of uh, deterioration throughout the fort. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the results of this engineering study brings to this resource. The end goal is to at least get like a part of it to where we can like section off them and they can come in and they could go into like 10 rooms of like the 60 rooms. So maybe they might not be able to fix it all right away, but they can get to where it's part of it safe and they can open to the public because a lot of people really do want to be in here. As a Roger Williams University alumni from the Historic Preservation Program, there it is great pride to be able to work with the university and collaborate on these types of projects with the students.